Hello everyone, how's everything? You guys doing good too? I'm doing good too. Let's get on today's video session. Here we go. Today, it is back on Sega No One Mini in a different way. So let's check this out. Streets of Rage 3 Yuzu Kushoyo Check it out! Use a Kishorio! Street to Race 3! Go! <laughs> Absolutely incredible! So that was Street to Race 3! Come on, use a Kishorio! Absolutely amazing music! So today we're going to be talking about the Sega Normal Mini Games Console. As you already heard a lot of my information from my previous videos on the Sega Normal Mini Games Console, I told you in each video that the Sega Normal Mini Games Console is never going to come out. It's never going to release. But why am I making another video on it? What's the point? It's not going to come out. Well, I've got a better idea where you can enjoy your Sega No. 1 Mini games console without having that crap. It's good. We didn't get any information after 2019. You go, what the heck is this guy on about? Why would you say such a thing like that? Originally, the Sega No. 1 Mini handle system was rubbish which was made by Sega is originally rubbish and now Retrobit was going to repeat that whole process again why would Retrobit release such a rubbish to the customers once again if only if that thing was already rubbish we don't need this rubbish again we are wasting people's time and their money even to put charge. We don't want to put charge. It's rubbish. It's absolutely terrible. I don't know why I'm shouting today. Because we customers don't understand what to buy. We just buy any crap that comes on the market. Please, please, please do not buy anything which comes on the market. Think, concentrate, see if the thing's even worth buying. Because if we just go and buy something, it's probably not worth buying. I can see this thing, you know, the same problems. The width size, the thickness on the side, and the cartridge slot again. He had all this rubbish thing from Retrobit, the system called Sega Nomad Mini Games Console. Oh man. I don't know how much I can take off this rubbish, but now I'm going to show you something really different that I always used to show you, show you but just to arrows you smartphone. Yeah? You can turn the just to arrows you smartphone into a Sega Nova Mini Games console. <laughs> you go, what the heck am I talking about here? Understand this. This is about 210 pounds. Two hundred nine pound ninety nine, something like that. One of these. This is the one cool device, man. Yeah. So, but okay, this is the front. This is the back. I'm um, in order 
to turn this into a Sega Sega Nomad Mini console is pretty incredible. Okay, you want to have controls on the sides. You could, but it's totally up to you what kind of controller you want to use for this kind of thing. You know Sega Nomad Mini was just a Mega Drive system. You think this can't play Mega Drive games? <laughs> it could. So watch this. The power switches are at the top here. There you go. It's on. Now, if you look carefully, settings. Yeah? You click on the settings. It's a gear tab, yeah? On most majority Android devices. You go to a thing called. You can see. Connected devices. Click on that. I already got it installed, so I'm not gonna pay my new device again. Obviously, if you use a MOGA controller, yeah, you go to MOGA Pro HID. This is the one for your emulators, yeah. What you need to do in here, so you go, so once you get onto this pay new device screen, you go to your MOGA, what's that? MOGA Pro 2 HID. I've done, I haven't done this for a very long time though. This is a controller, MOGA Pro game controller. You see what I mean? I've seen them a hundred times, yeah? Underneath, there's a switch, you press to number two. There is. This switch to number two, yeah? Uh, and once you press this to number two, it starts flashing out that. Yeah? And then on your smart smartphone, yeah? You go to the Mogra Pro, which is right at the top, do ID, and that's it. Hold on, hold on. I think it's already done. Hold on. Yeah, it's already connected automatically. Yeah, that's it. It's working. Now, with this controller and with this device, what you do here, you lift this. It's like a stand in here. And you just put your handset through there. So let's just quickly do it. You just put it in there. So you do. There you go. There you have it. Goes in there. Look at that. Isn't that marvelous? And on your smartphone, yeah? You go to the emulator. So this is the same way so when Sega normal mini games console were done that, it plays Sega Mega Drive games, doesn't it? So we're gonna go to the program called MD.emu. Here it is. Over there. Can you see? Yes, click on that. That's it. I'm not going to go too much into the settings. That's it, yeah? You go in there and you just click on open content. Look, with my ball, look, I'm not joking. Look at that. I don't know if I can show you properly. Look. You just click on there. Look. Watch. Well, it's pretty tough to do. Look. Yep. Yeah. You just go down. Look at that. Okay, I can show you a few games by with that. Okay, let me see, just let me just get this right. Just sit straight. In a different home view. So you know, you can see more what I'm doing. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, no, I don't have a castle you properly though, yeah? Mm. Wait. Coming zone! Look! You got yourself Sega Nogo Mini! With gaming controls, look at that! What do you need to buy that piece of rubbish? Look at that! Smartphones can do it! Look at that! I don't know why we're waiting for these kind of devices! Look at that! Yeah? And then we can just can we start. Look at that. Look, actually can play. Look. Look at that. Yeah, actually can play. Look at that. It's amazing. Absolutely incredible. Look at that, check it out. I don't know if you can see this properly. Check it out, see? So, this is a way you can actually do this, which is pretty... Did it actually hit me? I think it did. I'm going to get you for this. Pretty tough. Look at that. I got it. Look at that. Check it out. So yeah, you could do that one. If you want to go back to the game, you just swipe on the screen to the right and you just press the arrow. That's it. It takes you, you know, to another game. And you go to close game. Yeah, really, really good. I'll just show you one more. This is Sonic Three Knuckles. Everyone's favorite Sega Mega Drive game. Everyone likes. On. Look at that. Very good, isn't it? Nice. Look at that. You can do the nose save. Look at that. Sonic three knuckles. Now this is. Just going the same way, playing a handle system, isn't it? A lot of people don't notice all this stuff, but it's really, really good to use these kind of systems. Isn't it really cool to use these kind of, you know, controllers and, you know, you could just play on the look at that. I tried to do it for you. Hold on, here we go. What we can see? Can you see him running? I don't know if you can see it properly. <laughs> The man's in the way. Hold on. It's hard to do like that, isn't it? Ah. Really good. Look at that. Absolutely amazing.
So I hope you got a glimpse of it. We can expect this guy's hiding behind there. Oh, I get out of there. Look at that. This is the same way that you will be playing your Sega Nova Mini games console. Do you really think you need one of them? Because if you could buy a register on your smartphone with a Mogul Pro game controller, you got yourself a Sega Nova Mini games console. <laughs> How amazing is that? How cool is that? Isn't that amazing? Okay. Today I'll be making a video on this controller, how you can make it the same way like your Sega Nova Mini Games console. And also, tomorrow we will be connecting it to the I iPega controller. I can't remember that model, model name again. We'll be connecting to that. With that, right, what happens? I can show you a bit. Just switch this off. Roy. I can show you a bit of a glimpse of that. What what's that like? Cause with this yeah, it's not like landscape because the buttons are right at the bottom, isn't it? I can see where people are coming from. Cause if they saw this, they go, well. The Sega Numa Mini was, you know, the bones at the side, didn't it? All that. But this is the bones are right at the bottom. Don't worry about that. I'll I show you that as well right now. Where you can get the real experience, just like a Sega Numa Mini game called. I think if people can understand all these things, you only need to buy something like this, man. This is your new Sega Numa Mini games console, which used to have your smartphone. You do not need the handle system. See, I just showed you how you can do it. Today I'm just going to show you how you can connect it to iPega. Yeah, it's all done. I'll just show it to you right now. I've got yourself the right solution, right? Right solution. I'm not going to play nothing on it today, but though, look at that. There's your new <laughs> Sega Normal Mini Gaming Controls. <laughs> look! D pad, analog, all the baseball. Oh, yeah, look at that. What am I looking at? <laughs> look! It's oh, all yeah. here. But what you do here, you put the device right in the middle. Yeah, you open this clip at the back. Mm, what are you, going to do? Mm. you need to open it. And what are you do for me? Just close up. You have to put it like that. Yeah, like this. Look, like that. You just put it in there. You're, if it doesn't fit in there, you just pull this out. Look at this. Look at that, man. You just put it in there, boy. Look at that. It will go down because it needs to hold it in place. I'm afraid. You need to do like that. There you go. So with that, look at that. Now this is your new Sega Normal Mini Games Console. You know, to be honest, you don't need them stuff. Look. You could just do it like this. But you know what? This is just, again, this is making it very, very long. I don't know what to say about that. It does make it long, I'm afraid. I don't think this controller is making it short, is it really? Because already, this device is pretty big, isn't it? But with these controls, makes it really long. But the good thing is that you don't need to wait. You already can't take a normal minute. Games console by yourself. Look at that. And with this Hold on. 
Same experience. Look at this. Check this out. Look. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Same way, right? He will play his second on my mini. Look at that. Look at that. Same style, man. You don't need to wait for it. This is ridiculous. If you want it to be this big, <laughs> here you go. This is big. There you go. You could do it big right now. But why wait for the same idea and becoming big like this? It's going to be large like this, isn't it? If you want it to be large, get this. <laughs> it's a large already for you. You don't need to wait for it. I do say that because like, because if it's already the width is big, like this, is there any point waiting for that thing anyway? If we already can do the eye pegger. And you get along with that, this as well. Look at this. Really cool. Absolutely cool. So, yeah, tomorrow I'll be showing you with the iPad out properly. Give you the experience. I know it could have been better if, if you went to the top here, any between here. Yeah, if it was down here, yeah. right to the top. How do you stop that, for goodness sake? Hey, when that would do that? Yeah, you wouldn't be like that. But the problem with this is, yeah, it needs to hold, go hold in the holder. That's the problem with this controller. They, they did make an improved version of iPega. Yeah. Hold on. Where your device will be right in the middle. No joke. I don't know what's in that speciality of that controller. But in this one, you have to put it into that that latch thing in this one. Hold on. It's possible I learn it. Who doesn't drop? But here. You have to use that. You have to put it in there. Otherwise, you'll drop. But you'll slip. But in that controller, it doesn't have that. Because iPad has made the same controller, but it doesn't use this. But in this one, you have to use this. Because it'll slip down. Yeah, and it looks perfect, doesn't it? Really like a normal mini. These controllers are only about 20... I don't know, they're between 20 to 30 pounds. They're expensive. They're pretty cheap. But the problem is, you if you, you need to buy a smartphone, I mean, if just to you is a workers level smartphone, it's got a really good hardware for the specific technology they used in this phone. This uses a Snapdragon 450. But for just to use specific hardware, internal components, to get their devices run to high performances, you know. This company understands better than other manufacturers. Because I, I do remember when other people used uh, released the Snapdragon 450. They were really good. But but just to use this special internal hardware, right, for his devices. They do that with all the devices they make. And even with this for just to use your smartphone, even using Snapdragon 450, this is one of the best Snapdragon 450 smartphone for graphics performance. I'm not kidding on that. It's one of the best for that. For that kind of Snapdragon. It's crazy this device. It's really, really good. It performs really, really well. It's pretty fast. So, you don't need to wait for a second on my mini games console. You could turn a smartphone, probably even an Android, yeah? Any Android. Using one of these controllers. Whether you want the buttons to be below or you want it to be on the side like this. Choice is yours. This is a slipping honey. It's not a drop look. It's holding it because I put in the clip on. Let me see if he holds it really. Let me see. He actually holding it. 
Oh, it can be risky business though. Wow, he's holding it really well. Hmm. Because really, you're supposed to be using that clip on the bottom of it. It sometimes slips down. They made up for that. But yeah, but seems okay. Wow, it's not slipping down. I'm very surprised. Because usually when I put devices in this, this controller without using that thing, they drop, they slip. This controls because the controls metal. It's, maybe this smartphone, yeah, it's like curved, yeah. It's curved and it's something to do with its bezels. They're pretty small. I think that's why it's not slipping down. Yeah, the curve. It's very curved on the sides, really well this one is. So I think that's why it's not dropping at all. Wow, I've got myself a Sega on a mini games console, look at that. Oh, no, does it really? It's surprising it's not dropping. You know this phone? Ah, you know what it is? Obviously this is a worker's phone, yeah? This phone is special, I'll tell you why. Why it's not slipping. Every other smartphone will slip down and it will drop. It will drop. Because you have to use this in order so it doesn't drop down. But you know why this, this, one, this one didn't drop? You wouldn't get any phone like this on the market. Look at the back. Look at the back of this device. It's, look. It doesn't move, look. Anything, it will hold on the back. It will stick, look. My hands doesn't move, look. Yeah, I know it does that. But if you had something, you put something on the back, it does that, look. It won't move. And that's what happened, you know what happened here? This casing at the back, it's very solid, look. It's solid, look. Oh, yeah, it's your hands, you know, I'm telling you. This is a worker's level spawn from a casual to a military graded this phone is yeah and that's why it doesn't so what happens with this kind of casing it's a very solid casing and it's not slippery either it sticks to this it's, it sticks to that look at that can you see that the other smartphones are all slippery so they drop from here they need they need this to hold it but in this smartphone yeah very surprisingly this is a well made smartphone wow very well made. This saves a day, look. It sticks to it. It won't move. It's already, it's solid. Very solid. Because even it drops, it doesn't break so easily, yeah? It won't work quite, but it's very solid. Yeah, it's your hands, you know, I'm telling you. This is really solid. And whatever goes on it, it sticks on it. And that's why this one didn't drop. I didn't even know that. Because, like, how do I drop from the iPad controller? Hi, Pega 9023 Game Controller. Yeah, that's what it's called. This we just have a smartphone. Just have this phones. A special man. So, yeah, this is a way for your second or mini games console. You know, anyone. Excuse me. Today, I showed you the Mogo Pro Game Controller. Tomorrow, I'm going to show you the Hi, Pega 9023 Game Controller. And, yeah. With that, you're going to see the Roy experience. Roy Sega Nomad Mini Games console style. This is the right controller, really. More than that, Moga Pro Game Controller. Choose you which controller you want to use. You know, these Android devices, they're pretty good, man. Especially this one, which is tell you. Obviously, it's up to a casual to military graded. These are very advanced phones, yeah? Because you just saw it, that it didn't even slip. Any other phone that made by other manufacturers, they will slip and just drop down. If they didn't, if that didn't, I didn't open that latch on it. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed my video today, and I hope it's been enjoyable. Give me likes, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.